Welcome to Alaskan Man Adventures. Hi, I'm Bruce. I'm just a Sitka man that wanted to share some of the salmon recipes with you. I don't know how many salmon you catch where you're at, but where I'm at, we get quite a load. So we had to learn how to process salmon in an efficient way that makes it not only taste good, but but uh, gives a beautiful product on your, on your table. As you can see here, all my salmon has been packed on ice. So I take it out of the ice, I'm putting it right into a cooler with water in it. Now, the whole idea of the cooler and water is I'll show you a trick that I learned from an old timer here in Sitka that has really saved me a lot of effort and also has made my salmon taste really good. I've got a few different kinds of salmon here today. I've got some sockeye, got some silver, even a few pinks in here that probably won't be in my smoked salmon brown either. But, but, uh, that's a pink right there. I'm gonna put them aside for now. Go for the silver and the socket eyes. Having them packed on ice, even the belly's full of ice, really adds to the quality of your fish. If you start out with fish that is bad, nothing you're gonna do to it is gonna make it taste good. Keeping the quality there. Look at the ice. I'm going to be doing probably six fish or so. Now the fish are actually acting as giant ice cubes in that cooler right now. So though I filled it with tap water, which here, by the way, is very cold, but not only that, but the, the fish themselves are like ice cubes now. In fact, my hands are really feeling that. Over. I'm going to double check, make sure that's all there was in here. Looks like that's it. So now, the reason I'm putting these fish in the cooler like this is I'm trying to knock down the amount of slime that's on it. Because the slime is the fishy taste in your jarred salmon. So uh, the trick I've learned is you take regular uh, white distilled vinegar it can be the cheap stuff, but I prefer a, at least a name brand that's is four months. And I start putting the water in like this, and I watch as I add the vinegar. I'm going to add about a cup to two cups of vinegar, depending on how many fish you're doing. This is quite a bit of fish, so I'm going to do about two cups. And look at how that foams up. What's, what's happening is the vinegar is that acidic and the slime is, is alkaline. So the two are canceling each other out right now. So I'm making sure the water mixes the, I'm making sure it mixes well all the way to the salmon at the bottom. That's why I sprayed the water down in there. And you look at how this foam. This is literally slime now coming off the salmon. And it's gonna stick to this cooler. When I empty this cooler, the whole thing looks like a bad bathtub after, you know, some really dirty people. Already I can feel the difference and see how I can start to pick this fish up. Can't quite grab it by the fin yet, but which normally you can't at all. Matter of fact, try this on this pink salmon. If I try to lift this guy by the fin, I literally cannot pinch that hard enough. You can see my knuckles going, my fingers going white trying to pinch it. It is so slimy I cannot pull that off. So it just won't happen. Now these two I'm gonna actually go ahead and all right, this one's going to be bait. This one I'm going to be playing for a neighbor. So I'm going to throw that in there too just to, just to kill the slime on it. I'll mix this around a little bit. Usually it's enough with a hose, but it's not a bad idea just to make sure all the fish got vinegar decent. Now the time frame for this is anywhere between 15 minutes and a half an hour. If you go, if you go much more than a half an hour, you're probably going to end up with pickled salmon. So. So beware, don't do that. The whole idea isn't to add vinegar flavor to anything, it's just to wipe the slime off these fish. Okay, we waited for the 15 to 20 minutes for the vinegar, and look at what this cooler looks like now. now I'm gonna go ahead and open the valve on the bottom of the cooler and start draining it, because I don't wanna pickle the salmon like we've discussed. So I'm gonna grab the first one out. And I'm gonna lay it on my scaling table we might say. Some of these scales that fell off during the fight it had on the deck. But you can see already I can start to pick this up. 
not 100% yet, but I can start to pick this fish up by the fin. That's how much it's neutralized a lot of the slime already. And if you look closely, look at the white on the head. That's from the slime. Even the eyes have colored over. These were fresh salmon. They colored over because of the white, the slime that's building on there from the vinegar acting. It's done an amazing job of counteracting the Now, I put it head away from me on the table. I take a fine nozzle on your hose and look at how the scales just fly right off that fish. Look at this. I get around the fins really good. Now, you want to have a place where you can, you don't mind getting all clear. I can't even do this because that's the end of all training by the end of summer because of all the scaling. So by running the hose in circular motion and just kind of back and forth, look at how quick all the scales have left. Now not only have the scales left, but a majority of the slime has. Look at that. I can pick that salmon up now by, by the fin, which I couldn't do even close before. Now I'm trying to flip it over. You see all the scales? Do it again. Now I do this with each and every fish, and then by the time it goes onto my cleaning table, there's very little slime left. And then the brine, which is heavy in salt, will burn off anything else that's left. And so my fish tastes way more like salmon and a lot less fishy. It's the fishy flavor that stops people from eating seafood. And I was one of those guys. You might notice on my salmon, I've still got the gills in the head. A lot of people, when they're cleaning their salmon, they take the gills out. Mine are still in there, and I have a reason. Is that all my carcasses don't go to waste. I do not throw them away. They go into my bait freezer and become everything from halibut bait to shrimp bait, crab bait. And the gills in there are full of blood, which gives uh, my bait even more, more attractiveness to the crabs, things like that. See the cooler is emptied of water now, but look at the slime, how it is traced all the way around these fish. They're even on top of the fish here. Isn't that crazy how much slime was taken off by that vinegar process? That is one of the few things that makes my salmon better than a lot of other people. They at least taste better anyway. Look at how much they clean up. I just rinsed that slime off a little thing a little more. Thank you for joining me on Alaskan Man Adventures. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time.